So I found this pretty interesting looking launcher on the Play Store. It's called the Alpha Launcher and uh, yep, this is a free version. Another one. So I thought I would share it with you. So unlike many traditional launchers, this thing is um, uh, pretty nice in, the, in terms of, you know, the aesthetics that we like. So this is what you get straight out of the gate, like the launcher with a cool looking dial on the front with a bunch of options. If you click on the dials, it gives you a, a quick shortcut for uh, you know the controlling the weather, the time, the temperature and stuff like that. Possibly the most interesting thing about this is the app drawer. Like if you swipe to the right, uh, this is the app drawer that you get by default. And it's, it's pretty nice. Like it's mostly geared towards right-handed people who use phones mostly with the right hand. So, you know, this, this is easily accessible to your thumb. But I guess it's easily the same for the left hand as well. Wow. Swiping up from the bottom gives you something called as category list. Now you can create a bunch of app categories and have them list one on top of another. It's uh, it's basically like your uh, folder groups, but with a, a fancier name. Tapping on this button gives you a uh, list of applications that you've kind of used a lot. Uh, you can even get the same screen by swiping up anywhere on the home screen. Settings are pretty bare bones actually. You just get a few launcher settings and a few themes which are DIY apparently. You can change uh, quite a lot of things with the uh, built-in theme like you can make the background darker. You can set a primary and secondary color to match your jam. There are a bunch of fonts that you can select and I kind of like this one which is of course uh, included in the free version here. It capitalizes everything and makes it look a little bit unique than a normal launcher. And of course you can do that by going in settings and selecting from the fonts. Now this launcher does have ads and it can get pretty annoying once in a while. Like every time you change a setting or something like for example if I change the font here uh, I'll probably get an ad. No. But you get the point. This is a free launcher and um, in-app advertisements are pretty standard with the free versions of these things. Only a few launchers out there like the Nova launcher don't give you any ads. But still, you know, once in a while if you like some out-of-the-box uh, cool customizations like this, which you don't really get from the likes of Nova or uh, AEW or any other launcher like that. You know, you can kind of sort through apps like this or you can even sort them like this with alphabetical order. Swiping down here gives you a, a quick kind of a spotlight search option which is pretty common on most launchers. You can uh, search for apps and stuff. This does have some bugs like I noticed when you swipe up from the bottom, uh, when you click on to add new categories, uh, this always doesn't show up like by default this background is white. Uh, because I changed my primary color to yellow, now you can see the fonts but as you can see, uh, these texts are in white color. So when I first installed this, it was completely blank. That's what I thought because the white font and the white background were blending in with each other. So I couldn't see anything like even if I selected a bunch of these apps, I couldn't read anything on these buttons here. So the font colors don't automatically change uh, to white or black based on the background. They always stay white. So you have to keep that in mind when you're uh, designing the background colors. Now, of course, you have some settings like you can add apps to that circular window, which we saw earlier. You can create folders within them. There are some live themes as they call it, but we know them as live wallpapers. So when you click on them, it downloads a preview and shows you what it's like. <laughs> I mean, sure, some of these are uh, pretty bizarre looking, but you can get a pretty dope look to your phone if you select the right one. Uh, this video, for example, I mean, this live wallpaper isn't looping correctly. As you can see, it kind of stutters in between and starts over. <laughs> that, that doesn't look very nice, uh, but you get the point. Like you do have some options to customize here and it's not the same as every other launcher. You have a few basic customizations for the uh, app drawer as well. So this is the app drawer that we saw. Uh, so you can kind of pick between six different animations for these uh, these app, uh, circular app things to kind of load up when you scroll. As you can see, the size is varying based on the uh, animations that you select. I kind of like the second one where it follows one another with a little bit of gap. That looks cool. I mean, as cool as this thing is, I don't recommend you use this as your main launcher as a free version. I mean, you'll have to purchase the full version because once every five minutes you're getting an ad. I know it's not that bad. I mean, the de developer has to make money somehow. But, you know, ads are not really that great when, when they're constantly interrupting your main home screen itself. And there are some limitations that are just plain annoying. Like, for example, this app integration for the uh, music player, uh, it only works with the built-in music player of this launcher. So you can't control your third-party music players. Like, for example, I use PowerAmp, so I can't control PowerAmp with this. I can only control my music. Uh, which is on my device with the built-in music player. So I can't use any other apps with their own equalizers and take advantage of that. For that, I'll have to purchase the full version. So the full version removes all the ads, gives you full access to the live themes, the uh, premium wallpapers and stuff like that. It gives you some other controls, like you can add any app that you want. One thing I didn't like that much about the uh, alpha launcher is that you need the paid version to even apply basic icon packs. I mean, that's not a great thing. You should be able to apply at least some icon packs, even in the free version. 
So even if you want to say hide apps and stuff, you'll have to pay uh, the one-time fees of 70 rupees. It's not that great. I mean, it's not too high. I mean, the Nova Launcher's full version costs something like 120. So it's around the same ballpark or if it's, it's even lesser than most of those launchers. But Nova Launcher gives you a world of customization, way more than this thing gives you. Other than the cool looks and the geeky sex appeal, it doesn't really have that much going for it. But hey, if you're like me and you like exploring stuff, then this is definitely worth checking out once. Alright, I think that about wraps it up. Alpha Launcher, check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. And uh, yeah, let me know if you'd like to see any more videos like this. Uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers.